Hey guys, welcome to another Game Explained discussion. I'm your host, Andre Seegers, and this time we're joined by Derek Binder and Trailer Drake from The Game Theorist to discuss the supposed news that Wii U and Roy might be coming to Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this huge news broke last night uh, after the Smash Bros. update. So apparently someone on Reddit, who's well known for data mining the game, um, he goes by the name of Shiny Quakesire 23 and he was digging through the latest update on 3DS, and he found some interesting sound files. Uh, specifically, he found four sound files for what appear to be upcoming DLC characters, and we know that because one of them is called Lucas, who we now know is coming to the game. But in addition, there's one called Roy, and if you listen to it, it's the victory theme from Fire Emblem, and then there's another called Ryu. Now, of course, there are several game characters called Ryu, but if you listen to that file, it's very unmistakably a Street Fighter song. So, based on this, it seems like we may have Roy and Ryu from Street Fighter coming as DLC characters, which is huge news. So, uh, what do you guys think of this? I think these are interesting choices. I think they also make a lot of sense. Uh, Roy has been heavily requested. Probably, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he was like the third or fourth most requested character after Mewtwo, uh, Lucas, and Wolf. Mm -hmm. So, him, them bringing him back would make a lot of sense. Uh, Ryu also makes a lot of sense because Nintendo and Capcom have been very close lately. Uh, a lot of been, a lot of working together, and Ryu is probably their second most popular character, uh, or at least mm -hmm. you know definitely a popular character. And I can see how he would fit pretty well into Smash Brothers. So uh, I'm not you know these are cool things to have. I'm, I can't I am a little shocked by them, mm -hmm. but they make sense. So. I'm, I'm I'm willing to roll with them. Well, I'm not shocked by Roy at all. That's that's not that surprising. It's the Ryu thing that's really surprising to me. <laughs> See, I don't know why everybody's so excited for Roy when we already have a Roy in Smash Bros. already. <laughs> well, and that it, that and like twenty other Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> Hey, I personally love myself some Fire Emblem, and obviously Smash Bros. is what got Fire Emblem popular in the West in the first place. Mm -hmm. But also. It does make sense. I mean, we have Mewtwo that just came out, so it makes a lot of sense for a character that's been left out of Brawl to come on back. And also, like I was joking earlier, I mean, they do already have a Roy in the game, so the announcer voice is already taken care of. They don't need to call Xander back in to record another line. Yeah, that's true. I mean, unless unless they want, okay, we need a different inflection for Roy now. Or are we now going to have like Roy asterisk? <laughs> I would love, I would love if that was a sole reason for bringing him back. It's like, well, we already got the sound file that saves us a few bucks, so let's just yeah. throw Roy in there. <laughs> and, Ro and Ryu makes a lot of sense. I mean, I saw people were saying like, well, it could be Ryu from Ninja Gaiden. Well. No, no, it's not. The, yeah, and the go, especially is going after the, off the music too. Like, it's yeah, it's definitely clearly Street Fighter. Street. Yeah, but I mean, Ryu makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're right. You know, they've been working really closely together. I think out of all of Capcom's characters, I think that Ryu has the most uh, popularity, and all, like you said, he's one of the most famous characters, but also makes the most sense in Smash. He does, yeah. I mean, he is a fighting game character. Uh, it is odd though, because I think Sakurai has said something to the effect before that uh, fighting game characters were ones he was the least considering because they're not that interesting in terms of appearing in Smash Brothers because we know how they play. But also, Sakurai also, he also claimed that uh, Lucas or any other DLC was not going to happen. The music <laughs> that, this was is, only this been a DLC. absolutely the case. Uh, basically, we can't trust anything Sakurai well, says. Well, no, you can, as long as you take it in the opposite of what he means. <laughs> of course. You know, it's like, oh, so this is not going to happen? Okay, well, then it's definitely going to happen <laughs> right. in a Nintendo Direct. Please understand. Well, I think, you know, I'm not a huge uh, fighting game fan, uh, simply because uh, I just never really got into them. With that said, I think having Ryu here is is kind of awesome. I think it is yeah. a really cool addition. And uh, he, as we kind of touched on in our um, in our discussion recently, we were discussing characters we want to see in Smash Brothers. I rather like the idea of incorporating even more IPs outside of just Nintendos. Oh, definitely. And, you know, it's something we were considering, like, whether characters are, like, Smash Brothers caliber. Um, we were thinking Beautiful Jill. More... <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and we were thinking uh, primarily in terms of, like, really classic characters, like, you know, from the Mega Man, so you know, in Sonic era. But... Ryu is basically from that same time frame as well, uh, you know, along mm -hmm. with Sonic. And I think he makes perfect sense. Like, he fits yeah. in so well. And I think he could he could bring a really interesting dynamic to the game with him actually being a fighting game character. 
he's been around since you know Street Fighter One may not be the most popular game, but it did come out early on, and it, you know established him as a character, and then Street Fighter Two just took that character and expanded upon him, and right. he is always the first to be revealed. He is. Uh, there's something very classic about his look, so he can be put into whatever game you want, and that's why he's been involved in so many different crossovers, and he could totally work in Smash Brothers. Even his cost al- alternate costumes would be really easy to do. You can give him a yeah. Ken look. You can give him a Kuma look. You can give, give him, him a, a Dan Goken look. look. Yeah, a Dan look. <laughs> there's a lot of fun things you can do with uh, uh, Ryu and still make him feel fun and interesting in, in the terms of Smash Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, and also his moveset... You know, it's just obvious what it would be. You know, his regular B would be, you know, Hadouken. You know, you charge it up a little bit, fire it. Uh, up B would be uh, Shoryuken. Uh, I'm thinking, like, side B, his... Uh, I-, I never know what the actual name is because I just think of Igoraptor. I'd like some pound cake where he's uh, <laughs> doing his spinning kick. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like... The spin the kick, move, yeah. Yeah, the moves just come naturally. Like, and it's obvious what would be there, what moves need to be there. I, I can't say it enough. He just makes sense. He does. But here's here's a real question. Will he be able to turn around? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, I, I think yeah, I, I think it makes a lot of sense. I feel like the leak here is incredibly plausible. It makes it makes sense. And you know, especially with as we as I think you touched on Drake, Capcom and uh, Nintendo have been working kind of closely recently with Mega mm-hmm. Man and his costumes now, uh, you know, the new one in uh, Smash Brothers and, and coming, or and in Mario Kart 8 as well. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It, it it just makes sense. <laughs> that really is it. It makes sense. <laughs> the interesting thing is, like, people's reactions to Roy, because, one, yes, he is another Fire Emblem character. Uh, yes, you know, he's in some ways been replaced by Lucina, mm-hmm. but... He also is a little different from Lucina. Uh, I mean, he, he definitely has all those flame attacks that make him a lot different. And mm-hmm. while Marth is all, all of his powers in his sword strikes are in the tip, Lucina's is spread throughout. Roy's is still all based in the uh, base of his shield, uh, of his sword. Mm-hmm. So there's still a lot of ways to keep him different, even though he's still a clone. I wish they would give him like at least one new attack because I do feel like Lucina would have worked better as just an alternate skin and then have Roy or another character, you know, take up that that role of, you know, different playstyle with the same moves. Because, I mean, even in Fire Emblem Awakening, mild spoilers, Lucina dis- disguises herself as Marth. So why not just mm-hmm. make her an alternate skin, a la, you know, Robin? It would make sense, but I guess they wanted to do something slightly different with it, just so they could get a new character. I, you know, I, yeah. I, who knows for sure, but it, it does make sense. I mean, I don't mind having Lucina in there. I think she's a fun character. Nice to have f- more female representation. Oh, and, definitely. You know, I, and I like, I enjoy playing as her, so I, I can't mm-hmm. be too upset about her being in the game. Uh, it's just in terms of Roy and adding in all that extra stuff and determining all that. I mean, it's kind of funny that Roy's getting in the game if this is all true. Uh, because you know he's, I think I think I've heard somewhere that like, he's one of the weaker Lord uh, characters from the Fire Emblem series. It's like uh, I wonder if there would be like a better choice representation, but because he showed up in Melee, he's the best choice. Of course, they already have the moves already done. Mm-hmm. But also, people are probably thinking, you know, having three characters with the same moves it seems a little redundant. Well, I mean, look at Brawl. We had Falco, Fox, and Wolf. Mm-hmm. Now, does this mean that we're also probably going to see Wolf down the road? Oh, I'm, and, oh, I'm most likely yeah. we're seeing Wolf. Like, I don't yeah. think that's a question. <laughs> now, what's really crazy is that these uh, the characters that were removed for clones, their moves were incorporated into their custom moves. I mean, we're getting Lucas when you could already be Lucas as Ness. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. just really strange that we're seeing all these clone characters come back. But again, it also makes total sense, and I'm going to buy every single one of them. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like they're gonna have an insane sell through right on these characters. Oh yeah, um, especially if you go playing online, you see someone using a character you don't have. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna want to play as that guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I feel like with Mario Kart and Smash Brothers DLC, Nintendo may just be set for life. Like mm-hmm. they don't ever have to make another game in the series. <laughs> just keep releasing. Just DLC. make more DLC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every new Pokemon is DLC. Yeah. Right. So I have a question for you guys. Is there anyone else from Street Fighter you would like to see or you would have preferred to have seen instead of Ryu? 
he's, he's the one that makes the most sense. The most sense. That's Dra- yeah. yeah, Drake and I agreed on that. The only other one that would make that would fit, I think, is Chun Li. Yeah, I was actually about to say Chun Li. Oh, she would be she would be huge. I think Chun Li would be fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I main Chun Li when I play Street Fighter, so that's why I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. So, like Derek said, I mean, you have uh, Ken and Akuma that could easily be worked in as alternate costumes. So there you go. All the main people from Street Fighter are pretty much taken care of under the banner of Ryu. I mean, the only other characters I can think of that stand out is, again, Chun-Li and maybe M. Bison. Ooh. Just, and, and that'd be good to have a villain character in there as yeah. well. Yeah. So maybe maybe it's just me because I'm not a huge Street Fighter guy, but like Blanca for me is the one that always stuck oh, out to yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Right? I feel like <laughs> he'd be a good fit. Plus, like, only, I, plus I would just abuse his, uh, his shock move again. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Just what we need. <laughs> over and over and over. Now, speaking of characters appearing in games, I have one more question or idea here. Do you think, if this is true, if, if we do get Ryu and Smash Brothers... Do you think that could open the way for a Nintendo character to appear in the next Street Fighter game? Ooh. <laughs> it depends. On, well, they got Street Fighter V coming out, but it's only been announced for PS4 and Xbox One, I believe, correct? Yes. So that kind of yeah, kills that, that, that would idea. kind of kill that idea. But maybe, like, arcade, maybe? <laughs> well, no, it would, de- it would definitely have to be on the Wii U console. I mean, uh, kind of like how we had Link as an exclusive character for Soul Calibur. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. But if we had to have a character appear as a fighter... I wonder who it would be. I, Mario hmm. seems a little too odd. Yeah, he wouldn't quite fit. The uh, size would definitely throw it yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't want to say... You can't say Link because he uses the sword. Like, Little Mac would make sense, right? Oh, yes! Little Mac... Yeah, I mean, no, Little Mac fighting uh, fighting Balrog? Or, <laughs> uh, or Dudley? That'd be wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this little tiny guy trying to fight them. and Oh, my God. Uh, they, They'd be good. I, uh, Captain Falcon would be good. Who's other some yeah. other fighting characters would be good? I mean, like punching characters. Anybody I guess from Ganondorf. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anybody from Punch Out, really? Yeah, yeah. Right. Even even King Hippo would be a lot of fun. Like, how insane would it be though if they announced Street Fighter Five uh, at E3 for Wii U with a Nintendo exclusive character? Like, I feel like that would be gigantic. That would blow my mind. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I can't see it happen happening just because they gotta push that. You know, graphical fidelity and whatnot, but it would be a cool, uh, cool little Easter egg, and definitely would push sales of the game on Nintendo consoles. Oh, oh yeah. definitely. I mean, I think I think Soul Calibur Two was one of the. It sold the best on GameCube. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you exactly. get Link. I mean, come on. Oh, that, I mean, that he was my main in that game. He was. Yeah, awesome. why, why would you not <laughs> buy it for Link? I mean, right? the other two games they had Spawn and Heihachi. Come on, who cares? Yeah, plus, uh, plus he was like a super cheap character with his throws. He could just throw people the out bow. of the ring constantly. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bow and the bombs were cheap. Oh, man. He, I love that guy so much. He was great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you guys have any final thoughts at all about anything uh, related to, to this DLC news at all? Uh, I'm curious about the time frame. Like, okay, we got Lucas. Does that mean uh, that's coming in June? Does that mean we'll see one of these two? Or maybe both of them come by September? Or is it going to be spread out a little bit more like we kind of thought as far as these other characters if they're again real well right because there's also the potential wolf announcement at e3 right. which would make sense of the Star Fox, you know unveiling mm-hmm. um but that could come toward you know, closer to the end of the year when Star Fox actually releases so maybe before then ryu could be slotted in or roy well here's yeah. what i'm thinking i'm thinking that uh ryu would be the big e3 announcement right because you could save wolf for closer to when Star Fox actually comes out for nintendo yeah. direct I mean, if you're at E3, the biggest event in all of gaming, you want to bring your big guns. And who's bigger than the poster child for perhaps the single most popular fighting game of all time? He actually has big guns. (laughs) Yes, yes he does. They are massive biceps. But, uh, uh, you know, it it just really depends on um, how Nintendo wants to market this. Do they want uh, the DLC to be kind of uh, resurrecting Smash Brothers in the public's mind uh, way after launch. I mean, we've already had the game for, what, at least four months now? Yeah. If, if, yeah. if longer than that, probably. For the 3 one, long. definitely, yeah. Yeah, but but I mean, uh, do they want it to be something where every time they announce DLC that it just reinvigorates the community and playing the game more and breathing new life into it, kind of like what we've been seeing with Hyrule Warriors? Because mm-hmm. we're always seeing new DLC, and even like free DLC coming to Hyrule Warriors that makes you want to get back and play the game some more. Yeah, yeah that's exactly so, it. Maybe we're going to see uh, DLC support like this until the next game inevitably comes out. It's possible. Um, I mean, I would... I, I guess, you know, thinking about this now, the most surprising thing about 
this announcement, or, you know, this supposed announcement, is this is a huge character. Like, this is mm -hmm. a big freaking deal. Um, because I had suggested, suggested before Nintendo might mostly stick to B-tier characters for their upcoming DLC, and that might still be the case for their own Eternal characters. You know, getting a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of, you know, kind of like the leftovers, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and save, you know, big ones for the next game. I didn't anticipate getting a huge third-party character as a uh, DLC. And I think an E3 announcement would make sense. Yeah. Uh, if this is going to be a thing, because that would be huge news. Although, I do, it is a little bit unfortunate, if it is true, that this news did leak beforehand. That might take a little mm -hmm. bit of wind out of its sails. Not that much, but just a little bit. Well, it's bit. happened before. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely happened before. It's happened constantly with Smash Wii <laughs> yeah. U, so. Yeah, yeah. so it, it hasn't made it any less amazing. No, it, that, well, yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's going to turn out to be amazing regardless. Of course. So, yeah. Mm. All right, well, I think that wraps up for us here. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you liked our discussion, make sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Game Explained, which you can find links to in the description below to go ahead and keep up to date on everything we post. And, uh, Drake, do you want to tell people where they can find you at? Where can't they find me? They can find me on YouTube, or my other YouTube, or Twitter, or Facebook, or Tumblr. Basically, if it's a social media, I've got my obnoxious face plastered on it in some way, shape, or form. So basically, just type in Trailer Drake, you'll find all the places you can find them at. <laughs> or you'll find trailers for Drake's new album. But there you go. <laughs> and of course, keep an eye on GameSplain.com for more on Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS and other things gaming as well. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.